How's it going, everyone? How you doing? Oh, welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh K. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Elite Battle League Season 5 Championship. Um, we're taking on Sly Guy and the San Antonio Espers, uh, which is going to be no easy feat. Um, and we've had to go through some really tough people to get here as well. Um, but I'm happy to have just made it to this point. I don't really care how this match goes. I'm, I'll take second. It is perfectly okay with me. Um, I'm happy to have just gotten to this point. So um, if we win, awesome, cool. We get the championship. If we lose, awesome, cool. Season's over. <laughs> but you guys should definitely check out Sly Guy down in the description. Uh, go subscribe to him. He's a great person, so go check him out. Um, and also check out all the other coaches. I know they're all, most of them have been eliminated. I said this in the last couple weeks. I know most of them have been eliminated, but regardless, you should check them out anyways. Um, they're awesome people. And go subscribe to them. Check them all out. Lee Battle League channel. All that good stuff. Um, anything else? Uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm going to save that. I'm going to say I'll, I'll save it for after the match, actually. I'll tell you guys after the match, if I remember. Hopefully, I remember. Um, but like I said, whether we win or lose, I'm perfectly okay. Um, even if we get swept, it is what it is. I really don't care. Um, not that I'm, I keep saying this, not that I'm not taking it seriously. I am still, you know, I am still putting in the work, but uh, within the match. But, um, you know. I'm not going to be upset either way. <laughs> I'm not. Um, but regardless, we're going to get all linked up with Sly, and then we'll be good to go. All right. We are all linked up with Sly here. Who is going to pick the rules? Tis I. Tis him. I prepped for all nine. I stopped guessing Pokemon, like, teams a long time ago. Um, I just learned about the threats. Uh, we'll stick with the Rose theme. Um... Yeah, we're going with the shy guy team. We're gonna be leading Porygon much like we did against Timmy I just found that it was the best possible lead covered a lot of things um, Maybe I should double check my Pokemon before I came into this, but you know Whatever <laughs> We're gonna just go for it. I guess <laughs> Oh My goodness. Oh my goodness. I did double check them last night. So hopefully I didn't like Look at them wrong. I guess <laughs> Hopefully I didn't you know mess it up um I did not mention this, but I mean, if you guys watch season two, you know I made a huge blunder when we made it to the semifinal. Uh, we had an opportunity there to go to the final, but um, Road Time Heat was on that team as well, so I feel like it's kind of my good luck charm. <laughs> a little bit. All right, so he brought Azumarill. Azumarill. This is more or less the team I would have expected, honestly. Um, Zygarde, Kyogre, Skizor, Blaziken. Memo. All right. I mean, it, honestly, if he leads like Mamo or Zumeral, we're in a pretty good spot, or even Kyogre for that matter. Um, but we're just gonna lead. We're gonna lead Porygon. See where it goes. <laughs> we're gonna lead Porygon. See where it goes. I'm really not. I'm. I'm just going into this. Probably, I might be the most calm finalist I think ever. <laughs> All right. What's he gonna lead with? If he leads with, uh, I'll tell you how big of a threat, <laughs> depending on what he leads with. Let's see. Let's see. Sasha is the Azumarill. I remember that from week one. And it's shiny. Oh, belly. I love seeing belly. Look at, do, do, do. Please get the special attack boost. Please get the special attack boost. Attack boost. That's fine. That's fine. Um... Does he predict the switch? What does he do here? We're going to discharge anyways. He, he might just go to Zygarde, honestly. If he does, that's... I don't want to say that's fine, because it's not really fine, but... <laughs> it's whatever. I... Oh, my God. Okay, that's going to do a nice chunk. Not going to kill, though. That's fine. What does he do? Encore. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. So it's got Encore. It's got Encore. Does he switch here? We're going to try this. We're going to try this. If he doesn't switch, I mean... If he goes to Zygarde, that'd actually be all right. I can't afford to let Porygon stay in in front of a Zygarde with uh, the Encore. I can't. If he goes to Mamo or Zygarde, 
Credit to him. Credit to him. I kind of like that Encore play. I'm curious what he does with it, though. I'm curious what he's trying to do with it. Ooh, he's going to switch. He's debating whether he should switch. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. What does he go? Or he stays in? He stays in. No, I was faster. That's why. Okay, he goes to Zygarde. Okay. Look at that shiny. It's a great shiny. Um... Is he Dynamax here? He's probably gonna use a Dragon type move. I kind of want to try and oh, maybe I should. No, 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 no. I can't go to Porygon. No, I mean uh, Brotom. What does he do here? Does he attack? We do get the special attack buff. I know that. He withdrew. Okay, so we both withdrew. Fair enough. Send Sasha back out. <laughs> oh, he was baiting the dragon type move. That's what he was doing. He was baiting the dragon type move. That's great. That is great. That is great. That is incredible. That was that was smart. I like that. Um, I think a shadow ball kills and it hits everything but the scissor. I just don't want him to switch to a uh I wonder how much an ice beam does actually. Cause I know we got the special we got the special attack buff. I'm gonna ice beam. Just in case he switches. He stays in. Aqua jet, okay. We're gonna take a nice chunk from that. That's not good. Hmm. He's gonna let Sasha go down. It doesn't die. Ah, oh, if it died, that would have been huge, dude. That would have been huge. We're gonna ice beam again. He's not gonna switch, but we're just gonna ice beam again, I guess, just in case. That's that sucks. That's huge. That's huge. That's huge. So we get the first kill of the game. But he kind of has, I don't know. Momentum's kind of, kind of split right now. I'm not going to lie. I feel like he has a little bit more than me. Queen Latifah is the family. Yeah. He's going to ice shard. He's going to ice shard. I'm assuming. One would assume. I mean, if I can get a hit off, what hits harder? Uh, ice beam on the chance he can freeze, I guess. Ice shard, yeah. That should kill. If it doesn't, I'll be really surprised, yeah. We'll go do this. We're gonna set up a reflect. I'm gonna set up a reflect. If he wants to go to Kyogre, great. But we're gonna set up a reflect. Probably goes to Zygarde, not gonna lie. I, was, I feel like he goes to one of his legends here. Because Zygarde's gonna have Thousand Arrows. Kyogre obviously is water. So, <laughs> that's not good for me. Not good for me. He's gonna switch. What is he staying? He switches. Okay. The core? Moose sister. Okay. It's told you. <laughs> one of the legends. I knew it was going to be one of them. We're going to set the reflect. How quick does he attack here? Does he pull the trigger right away or does he try to set up a call mine? Mm, decisions, decisions. We're going to attack. No. Mm. We don't not speed. I don't think we have speed. What's we'll, we'll up the light screen? What's we'll up the light screen? Substitute. Okay. Okay. He's going to call mine a few times. So he did bring the sub. That's not great. He's going to call mine. He's going to call mine. <laughs> Thunderbolt. 
Did he expect me to go to Lapras, maybe? So he didn't bring Thunder. Oh, he might still have Thunder, but I don't see the point of bringing Thunderbolt and Thunder. I mean, if he wants to keep setting up substitutes, he's more than welcome to. It's just chipping away the Kyogre. <laughs> I think he was expecting me to switch. So what does he try to do here? Does he try to set up another one? If he sets up another one, he puts him in a pretty bad spot. Not going to lie. So I don't think he will do that. I think he's either going to attack. He might switch, actually. Three options. Set up, attack, or switch. <laughs> Those are his three options. He probably... I wonder if he goes to Zygarde. I wonder if he goes to Zygarde. I wonder if he goes to Zygarde. He still has Mammoth Swine in his back pocket, too. It would not behoove him to go to one of his ground types. It would not. He's going to switch. No. He uses another sub. We break that immediately. He's expecting the switch, maybe? That's interesting. Because now he's at 50%. I'm confused. Why is he? I don't, I don't know why he's doing this. Um, how long do we have? We have. Okay. Maybe he's trying to stall out the screens. Maybe that's why. That could be why. That could be why. Which wouldn't be a bad play on his part. This will just discharge again. If he wants to sub again, he's going to go to one of his. Uh, he's going to go to one of his ground types. Yeah. That's fine. Interesting, though. Interesting. He allows his Kyogre to fall. The rain stops. He allows this Kyogre to fall to half. Interesting indeed. We're just going to set this up again. We're going to cycle this again. Stone Edge. He missed. Oh. That's rough. That's rough. That is rough. Light screen should wear off. Yeah. That is rough, man. Does he try the Stone Edge again? Mm, there's no use switching, honestly. Um... Does he switch? We'll overheat. I know it's got thick fat, but we'll just overheat. He misses again. Ah, oh. that's rough. It doesn't have thick fat. There's no way it wouldn't take that hit if it didn't have thick fat. There's no way. No way it would have taken that hit if it didn't have thick fat. He might send in. Oh, he might send in the Kyogre back in because I'm minus two. Music again, by the way. <laughs> the core. Okay. That's smart. That's smart. Does he D dance in front of me? Is the question. Does he D dance in front of me? We're going to go to you. If he sets up the D dance, it's fine. It's fine, but it's not. Like, it. it, it it goes both ways. This match is pretty good so far. So he does he attack here? Does he attack here? He probably D dances. I expect it, honestly. Yeah. He might Dynamax, honestly. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, do I try it? Hmm. This is this is a game determining play here. Do I try the Will O Wisp or do I haze? Because he's probably gonna attack me. Cause Will O Wisp shuts it down. Haze gets rid of what's in front of me. I have to play it safe. I have to play it safe. I don't think he can kill me. Substitute. Ah <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. The good part is if he dynamaxes, that sub is irrelevant. Reflect War Off. Okay. Willowisp doesn't work through. I'm 99% sure it doesn't work through that, so. I think it's time. I think it's time. I think it's time. I think it's time. See, bro. That's so annoying, dude. 
All right. <laughs> All right, dude. Honestly, I said, beat me, don't cheese me, and I'm feeling a little cheesed right now. <laughs> just a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm feeling a little cheesed. Thousand arrows. Okay. He's got Iron Tail. Or does it carry Iron Head? I'm not sure. Oh, I should have switched to Lapras. I should have switched to Lapras. Thousand arrows again. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. His blaze can still in the backfield, so that's not great. I don't want to bait the thousand arrows. If he wants to sub again, I mean, that's fine. I'll just let Lapras go. Uh, I don't want to waste my Dynamax, not gonna lie. He can Dynamax and Max Quake, and he, I think he wins from there, honestly. Thousand arrows, okay. So he's not carrying a uh, still. I wonder what his fourth move is then. Hmm. Let me look up something real quick. Hold on. We're gonna try something. We're gonna try something. He might Dynamax here, which is fine. Kind of. <laughs> His Azumaro is gone, so he has no Dragon type check. The only one that doesn't really get affected by the attack drop is Kyogre. It is Kyogre. If he doesn't Dynamax here and he keeps Zygarde in, that's big for us. That is massive for us. Honestly. Because then he gets the attack drop. If he stays in... If he doesn't Dynamax Zygarde right here, and he keeps it in, that's a big problem for him. God, my mood just whole changed. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Sub, 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 sub. He's reminding me of Nudie with all the, the fake outs. <laughs> uh, what does he do? Does he match my Dynamax is the question. I think the switch would have taken priority, so he's going to stay in. Is he going to Dynamax, though? Is he going to Dynamax? We're going to get a nice, nice hit on this thing. Is he going to Dynamax? Yes. Yes. Yeah, the delay. I saw the delay. <laughs> I saw the delay. What is he? I mean, he's gonna use the ground type. He's gonna raise a special defense. So we need it. We need at least a, just a really, really big hit here, like a really big hit here, because we outspeed. He's gonna get that spadef. We need to get him to like a quarter, which I think we can. We can. It's spadef is good, but not fantastic. Not to compare to like Naganado's special attack. We kill. We kill. We kill. Oh, we kill. That's huge. Naganado's plus one now. Naganado is plus one, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, that's a problem for him. Scizor gets one shot. Blaziken gets one shot. Kyogre can probably live one, maybe. Mammal gets... Mammal's in red, so it doesn't really matter. Ooh. I'm interested to see how he deals with this. Blaziken detects, maybe? Queen Latifah. We're going to max Ooze. Ice Shard. He's going to Ice Shard. We're going to max Ooze. And we're going to raise our special attack again. So we're going to get plus three. We outspeed his whole team. He honestly should have saved that Mammoth Swine a little longer. So that should kill. We're plus three now. Oh, dude, I thought it lived. We're plus three. And we outspeed his whole team. So let's see. Oh, my goodness. No shot, dude. No shot. I was able to get Naganado going. This was the most ideal scenario. Did I get Naganado going? It's plus three. 
There's no way, dude. What can he do here? Kyogre, I think now we're in range to kill everything. Not gonna lie. I have Flamethrower for Scizor. I have Thunderbolt for Kyogre. Blaziken's the only one. This one is the, is the only one that can take a good hit. Or it can detect or whatever. Did I just... No, I'm on plus three. I'm just gonna go for the maximum win. Door. God. Maybe that was the first thing he should have done, not gonna lie. We lower its attack, though. We do lower its attack, so that means we're, we're likely gonna be able to take one hit. The good part is, is Zashin's still good. Zashin's still good to go. We go back to normal. We go back to normal. We go back to normal. Three minutes left? Oh, I'm freaking spamming. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Three minutes? EQ. Did we live that? Not from that range. Okay. Oh, crap. Who do I switch to now? Oh, no. I, I promise I'm not trying to stall. I'm not sure who I should switch to. Uh, what can you do to Muffin? You can't really do anything to Muffin. We're going to go to Muffin. I'm going to discharge. Should I set up a screen? That's big. He killed McGonagall there. Am I even minus? Dude, Blaziken's attack is actually nuts. So if he goes to Kyogre, he takes a, a discharge. If he goes to Scizor, I can overheat. If he stays in, I kill. He does. Yeah. So I think we're in a really good spot with Rotom here. Come on, Sly. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Brick break. Okay. He's expecting the screen. So Rotom kills Blaziken. Scizor? No, no. What's the point? Go to Kyogre. Go to Kyogre. Yeah, there's no point. Go to Kyogre. Okay. The good part is that Zashin can do a lot of work against Kyogre, not gonna lie. Uh we're gonna discharge. We're gonna just go for it. The discharge. Is he does he scald here? Yeah. Do we live? No, no, we don't. No. Kyogre kills Rotom. We go to hot tea. We go to hot tea. I don't like the fact that I have to use well. Oh, does wild charge kill from this range? Not wild charge. Uh, sacred sword. Crap! 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 Does I can't look it up. I don't have any time. I can't risk the miss. I have to wild charge. I can't risk it. I have to wild charge. I definitely missed some stuff. I I didn't write down everything. <sighs> what do I use against Scizor? Cause it's gonna bullet punch. Bullet punch is gonna do a nice chunk. He was smart saving his Scizor for this long. Not gonna lie. Um, Sacred Sword. Sacred Sword. Sacred Sword. Bullet. He didn't use bullet punch. We do just over half. Swords dance. He's gonna bullet punch now. It doesn't matter. We win. I think we win. We win. We win. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna click, 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 click. We win. We win, cause uh, what's his face has a lot of health. Rodriguez. Rodriguez has uh, more health. We win. We win. We win. We freaking win, dude. We freaking win. He would have won if there was a little more time. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I'm just gonna click. Phase. <laughs> we win. Wow. And now, a word from our commissioner. Introducing your season five champions, Evan Inferno! <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Yes, I love his lead card, dude. Five, that was... I'm trying to stay a little quiet because I think Carlos is trying to listen in. <laughs> and I don't want to keep this a secret. Holy hell, dude. That was... that. That might be close to the best championship match we've had so far.
I think season two was the best. I think season two still holds that as the best championship match, but that was incredible. And we are here. Season five freaking champions. We complete the first ever perfect season. First ever perfect season. The first in the EBL ever. Either way, it was going to be the first. If we had a little bit more time, he probably would have won with that scissor. Honestly, he, he not probably. He would have won with that scissor. Um, I don't think we really like took forever. I think for the most part, we were, we were moving. Um, I think there were a couple decisions he made that took a while. Maybe there's a couple I made that took a while, I guess. I did not realize that the time was flying that fast. Um, wow. What a battle. What a battle. That was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. But um, what I was going to say before the, the match started was, honestly, my prep time for these last three matches, um, by my own choice, has not been a lot. It's been an hour or less, I'm going to be honest. And that's not me trying to brag. It clearly showed because it was 6-5, six, 6-5, five, six, five, five, five. So it clearly showed that my prep was not there enough. Um, and I apologize for not bringing it 100% in the last few, uh, in these playoff matches especially. Um I'm sorry <laughs> for really not bringing everything I possibly can. Um, I just lost a lot of motivation for battling, so it made it really difficult to want to sit there and prep. Um, but clearly, it still worked out. So <laughs> I think we built a good enough team to be able to pull this off. But I want to give, I, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk my crap. I don't think Humberto thanked me in the last championship. I don't remember exactly. I don't think he, he indirectly thanked me. I'm thanking him by name. Because I helped him a lot last season. You didn't even just saying. Uh, <laughs> I know he's watching, so I'm just messing with him. Um, but Lionheart uh, Humberto was a huge part of why I was able to get here. Um, I would come up with a team, do all that good stuff, all the heavy lifting, and he would come in, help me with the tune-ups, make sure the team was good, help me find my lead, all that good stuff. Um, so I, I will, I will, I will, uh, this, this trophy is very much his as much as is mine. Um, he... he helped me a lot throughout this season so especially to stay motivated he kept telling me just just keep going just one more match just one more match just one more match he kept pushing me and i needed that to be able to keep going but uh i owe i owe a lot to him he he helped me a lot throughout the season and was just a big part of why i was able to pull off what i pulled off um but yeah that was that was insane i keep messing up my elgato i do that like every two weeks now <laughs> but that was awesome uh ggs to sly sly i can't wait to see what he does next season um and with that being said i mean unless i promise Pidge, um if there was an emergency and i needed to step in i will battle next season but um other than that i'm done <laughs> battling in the ebl i will still be in the background um as far as i know i'm still doing the weekly roundups and stuff like that i'm still gonna be doing the behind the scenes stuff but um the actual battling portion i am done with um for now again unless an emergency pops up unless someone drops out last minute i will step in in that case but other than that i'm done i'm done <laughs> I'm, I'm clean done um but ggs to sly again that was incredible and i uh, can't wait for my trophy <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you who stood by me throughout the season. Who stood by me through season, was it four, season two? Who stood by me through every blunder I had, every mistake I made. We made it to this point, and we're officially a champion of the Elite Battle League. Thank you guys so much for supporting the LA Inferno. We'll see you soon. Don't get don't worry. We'll see you soon. Maybe not under the LA Inferno umbrella, but you know, I'll be seeing you guys real soon regarding the EBL content and all that good stuff. Who knows? I might try to do something new on my channel. I don't know. I don't know. I might try something on my channel. So we'll see. We'll see. But regardless, thank you guys so much for supporting the LA Inferno. You guys are freaking awesome. Couldn't have done this without you. And check out all the socials in the description. My Twitter uh, is at Hermit underscore. Twitch is uh, Lonely Hermit underscore underscore or Hermit Lonely, is it Lonely? Lonely Hermit, whatever, Twitch. It's in the description. <laughs> Join my Discord if you're going to be a close part of the community. Check out all the playlists, links, all the series we got going on, all that good stuff. And of course, be sure to share yourselves with our friends, family, everyone you know. Let the people know Lonely Hermit's at. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.